Good afternoon, Falcon family. Hi, Dream Scholars. I miss you. I wanted to read a book to you guys today, and so we're going to hop right into it. This book is called The Caterpillar and the Polywog. Don't forget your book standards. Remember, we know the front cover, the back cover, the spine. We know where we can locate the title, the author and illustrator and our title page. Let's hop into it. First things first, what do you think this book is gonna be about? The Caterpillar and the Polywog. Take a second, pause the video, and just predict what you think the book is all about. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the Polywog. What fun, said the Polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the Polywog. You will, said the fish. All Polywogs do. What am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed for it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the polywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The polywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the polywog said happily. What fun, let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone, but I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't all sure how it was done anyway. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin her cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'll be a caterpillar. Go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while. The caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight. 
in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. For days and days and days. At last, there was an activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. The polywog was excited. He hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said, I didn't know what was happening to me. He looks so surprised, doesn't he? You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar wiggles by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. Thank you for watching this book, The Caterpillar and the Polywog. Check with your parents as Ms. White has posted some activities for you to do that go along with this book. I love you, I miss you, and I'm hoping you're having a good time. Be safe.